invited to christen it. possible by grants from the National Endowment for the Humanities, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, this and other public television stations, the George Gund Foundation, and General Cinema Corporation, and the Neiman Marcus Group, who are proud to help families explore the timeless world of children's stories. Whether it is better to tell a story simply like this. Once upon a time, a giant asked a witch to open her door. But when she said no, he growled and groaned and pulled the door off his hinges. Hmm. Or, is it better to act out the story and make it a play? Open the door, you wicked crone. I'm tired from my journey. I am plagued with hunger, and night is falling fast. Be gone, be gone, you tower of flesh. There's no room for giants in this humble hut of mine. Open this door and let me in, you wretched bag of bones. Give me supper or I'll stretch you so tall, your head will stick out the chimney. Never, never will I open this door. I'll make a brew of dragon's blood and cast a spell and make you small. Small. Perhaps I'm not that hungry after all. To act or not to act. That was the question. No less gracefulness, yes. I'm going to need another scroll. There's only one more to go. Hmm? Uh, do try not to be difficult, dear. Difficult? When am I ever difficult? I mean, it's jolly tiring standing here. I don't think fairies appreciate just how tiring it is. I know I've heard other fathers say the same things at christenings. Oh, it was so good of them all to come. Yes. Twelve invitations and twelve acceptances. <laughs> and they've all bestowed such lovely gifts. True. Kindness, generosity, perspicacity. Yes, that was very difficult to spell, you know. She's such a lucky little princess. Yes, well, we're very lucky too, my dear. I mean, a daughter of our very own. And she really is the most beautiful little child. Oh, beautiful, beautiful little child. Hello. Oh, Ferdinand. Oh, Ferdinand. Oh, Ferdinand. Oh, Ferdinand. Oh, Ferdinand. You're holding everybody up. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, dear. Oh, I see. Last one coming up. <clears throat> Your Majesty. Yes? I, uh... Yes? Well... Well, come along, come along, dear. There's no need to be nervous. What on earth? Oh, hi. Oh, 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 oh,
your pardon. Well, every other fairy in the kingdom, every oh, single oh, one, but not me, and I want to know why. Well, uh, why? Yes, well, you see, the postal deliveries lately have been absolutely... Rubbish! No, not at all, only last week, you see. Last week, I was... Yes, what is it, dear? We didn't invite her. We... Oh, no. Well? I'm waiting. Oh, yes. Well, you, you see, the, we had to restrict the numbers, you see, owing to the... the Shortage uh, of gold plates. Yes. We only have 12. Yes, and knowing that fairies always oh. like to eat some gold plates. Oh. Oh. Now, look here, will you... Oh. 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 Now listen carefully. Your daughter shall live until her 17th year. Then she will pick her finger on a spindle and she will die. Die? Die? Oh, die. But why? Because I expect to be invited to christenings. <laughs> oh, Oh, I knew something awful would happen when we didn't invite her. Well, to be quite honest, my dear, I, I, I'd forgotten all about her. I told you I wasn't inviting her. Oh. I knew you weren't listening properly. You never listened Now, please properly. don't start blaming me. It was going to be such a lovely Christmas. Your Majesty. What? what? No, no, not now, dear, please. Not now, please. Yeah. Where you go? Oh, look, what is it? Please, dear, would you, what is it? What does she want? What is it? Hmm? She says she hasn't given her gift yet. Well, tell her to come back tomorrow. Oh, she thinks she might be able to help. Really? What, do you mean you can break that dreadful spell? Oh, I'm afraid I couldn't do that. Uh, no, you couldn't say boo to a goose if you ask me. But I what I can promise you is that one day a prince will come to the palace. He will be the bravest prince in all the world. And he will have the power to break the spell. Well, how are you going to manage all that? It does sound rather vague, doesn't it? What you... Look, do speak up, there's a good soul. Only the princess will know how it will be done. And even she will forget until it's time for her to remember. That's a fat lot of help, I must say. Why do fairies always make things sound so complicated? We are very grateful to you. Uh, Aren't we, Ferdinand? Well, oh, yes, we're very grateful to you. Trust me. Trust her! Uh, what else can we do? There are lots of things we can do. In the first place, I can make sure that every single spinning wheel in this kingdom is destroyed. I shall issue a proclamation first thing tomorrow morning. Surely it would be far more sensible to make a list of all the princes. To make... Do you know, I've said it before and I shall say it again. It is virtually impossible to understand women. To make a list of all the princes. What does it matter how many princes there are if one is never likely to turn up here? The good fairy said one would. Don't make a list of all the... That's the most ridiculous suggestion I've ever heard in the whole of my life. It's not ridiculous well, at all. Of course it is. Of course it is. It is. It isn't. It most certainly is. It isn't. It, it isn't. It isn't. It is. It's water you love waiting for. Come on, the christening's over. You can go now. Come on, out. Out. Out, out, out. 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 Oh, 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 do be quiet. Oh, oh no, I didn't. Oh, 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 oh. I suppose you're right, dear, but she is the most dreadful woman. She knows everything that goes on around the palace. Look, Cla Clarissa. Yes, dear? Cla look, about last night. Now, we said we wouldn't mention it again. No, but I mean, we ought not to quarrel, not at a time like this. No, no, dear, don't let's talk about it. Come, come and sit down. Yes. <sighs> now, let's decide what we're going to say to Cook. Oh, yes, Cook, yes. I can't abide the woman. I should have given her notice years ago. Yes, but still, there, there is her stuffed goose. <laughs> And her roast lamb. Not to mention her strawberry trifle. Oh, yes, superb. Delicious. Oh, yes, just leave her to me, my dear. Now, you know what we agreed. Mm. You mustn't only ask her about the spinning wheel. Clarissa, don't you trust me? No. Now, look here. If I can't be allowed to do things in... Oh, oh, here she comes. Ah, there you are, cook. There you are. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes, how do you... Yes. Now, the Queen and I, uh, there is my wife and I, we, we want to ask you a favor. We'll 
two favors, actually. Yes, now, tell me, what's for lunch today? No, I, I mean, we, we, we asked you, Cook, because you seem to be the person who is most... Um, Knowledgeable. Uh, ...conversant with what seems to be going on in and around the palace. And, well, I want you to make me an inventory. A list. Uh, of every single spinning wheel. Now, on completion of this inventory... When you finish uh, the, the list... Clarissa, please! I mean, when you've finished the list, I want every single spinning wheel destroyed. Now, is that quite clear? And now for the second favour. Oh, yes, now for the second favour. We want you to make a family tree of all the royal households in the surrounding kingdoms, paying particular attention to all the available princes. Princes, Your Majesty? Yes, princes. You know, brothers of princesses. Mm. I know what they are, Your Majesty. It's just that... It's just that it'll take such a long time. Well, my sentiments exactly, Cook. I said as well, much... Well, we'll just have to make some allowances. We'll be quite happy to manage with sandwiches for a day or two. Oh. Won't we, dear? Well, with sandwich? No, no, well, of course, we could have your cold fast. We might detain you, Cook. Now, don't forget, every single spinning wheel... And every single prince. Yes, and every single prince. Yes. I think a cold fast would be much better oh, than sandwiches. Oh, really? Well, I mean, you can't find is if you ask me thoroughly spoilt always being told how good she is and how kind she is and how beautiful she is who wouldn't be for a princess in a palace like this did you hear what i said and where's that footman got to this birthday cake should have been upstairs in the throne room a half an hour ago oh as if i hadn't got enough to do without worrying about birthdays and your oh, royal highness I know I'm not supposed to come down here, but I got so tired of waiting for Papa. Oh, he was out at dawn, I'm told. Very fond of hunting. So is Her Majesty, come to that. Yes. Oh, I do hope they won't be long. Oh, is that my cake? <laughs> I had such difficulty making those rose buds. Oh, to match my name. <laughs> How beautiful it is. Oh, look, do you mind? Split out of the way. Oh, not you, Princess. <laughs> oh, that ribbon isn't quite right. Oh, let me help. No! Uh, if you would, <laughs> just allow me. Well, what are you all standing about for? You haven't arranged the biscuit yet, have you? Well, remember, pink on the silver platters and white on the gold. Well, what can I do next? Next? <laughs> you mean you're stopping down here? Well, it's much nicer than the throne room. Well, now why don't you go upstairs and see if His Majesty has returned from hunting? Otherwise, I shall never get your tea ready. All right. But you must promise to let me come down another day. I must learn to cook. Of course, Princess. I'd be delighted. Goodbye. And this is one of the nicest birthdays I've ever had. Majesty? No. Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't see you coming. Enjoy secrets, do you, Princess? Oh, yes. Especially on birthdays. How do you like this, my pretty one? What a tiny key. What's it for? To unlock a door. Oh, that doesn't tell me much. A key, a lock, and an opening door. Sounds like a riddle. What, that door? From its window, you can see further than the furthest edge of the forest. But that's where my father's hunting. Well, then you'll be able to see him. Come. Oh, don't be afraid. There. Now, what can you see? Well, there's a cloud of dust. Just beyond the river. Yes, yes, it is. It's father. And they're all galloping. And there's Mama. Oh, she has the most beautiful white horse. 
I must go down to the gate to meet them. Anyway, I've seen pictures of them. My father said there were no more in the whole kingdom. Only one little spinning wheel in a whole kingdom. I think I'd better go. Oh, stay and watch a while. It might be the last time. The last time? Oh, well, uh, soon it'll be getting dark. Oh, is something wrong, Princess? No, no, it's nothing. But supposing my father finds out about this oh, spinning wheel? come and watch, little one. I've got to be going, really. Let me teach you how to spin. You've such delicate hands, you'd be oh, very... No, no, I don't think I should. Oh, why are you afraid? Well, they'll be back any moment. I'm oh. afraid of a poor old woman. No, of course not. You'd like to learn to spin, eh? Oh, yes. Yes, I would. That's right, that's right. Turn the wheel. Turn the wheel. Feel the thread. Feel the thread. Like a cobweb. <laughs> 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 Only a little prick, dearie, that's all. I, I must go. That's it. There we are. There we are indeed. The end of you, little rosebud. Now, mustn't waste time. I must hurry straight to the throne room, I think, to tell them the good news. To tell them the news that their precious little rose bud is dead. I don't understand. My spell said nothing about people falling asleep. Hey, you! You! Your princess is dead! Do you hear? Dead! Your daughter's dead! Dead! What is the matter with them all? Well, at least she won't need any more birthday cake. At least my spell worked on her. <laughs> Three hundred years of casting spells and nothing like this has ever happened to me before. People falling asleep all over the... I just don't understand it. Makes me wonder about the princess. There were those rumors. Something about a prince coming. Oh, nonsense, of course. And, and yet, I suppose, if one ever did turn up, he could just walk straight into the palace now. Unless... Unless something stopped him. I was just wondering. Oh. Oh, he was a prince, too. Came here the winter before last. Or was it the winter before that? They always come in the winter. They think the hedge is thinner then. Yes. I've never seen such a hedge. We all say that. All the princes who come here. Then the rumors can't be wrong. There is a palace and a sleeping princess. So they say. 
How can anyone sleep for a hundred years? What? Still, my grandfather believed the rumors, and if he believed them... What? What happened to him, that prince? Thorns tore him to pieces. Oh, no. And uh, all the others? Every single one. Thorns are like spears. How brave they must have been. Are you brave? I only wish I were. They say the princess is very beautiful. So I've heard. I wish I could see the palace. Well, perhaps you could from the other side of the hedge. Yes. Yes, of course. Are you still going to look for the princess after all I've told you? Well, of course I am. But you said just now you were afraid. I was telling you the truth. None of those princes were ever seen again. There's one thing I've learned, Granny, and that's that it doesn't matter at all if you're feeling afraid inside, just so long as you try and behave as if you aren't. seen anyone so beautiful. sworn I lit those candles. I'm sure I did it as soon as we came back from the hunt. Oh, don't start making a fuss, dear. No, I'm not making a fuss. I'm just remarking, that's all. And, and where's Rosebud? I mean, after all, this is supposed to be her party. Now you're being bad-tempered. Huh? Now you spoiled her party last year. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, you did. I distinctly did not. You distinctly did. <laughs> Well, we did think you might have been at the gates to welcome us. Oh, yes. Yes, I didn't mean to be, but... Yes, yes, well, who's this young fellow? We don't know him, do we? Oh, it's so but... good to see you both again. Good heavens above, we haven't been away that long. Uh, listen, I thought we were going to keep it just to family. Well, he is going to be family, isn't he? Is he? With your permission, sir. Yeah, but have you made a formal application to court my daughter, young man? Really, Ferdinand? Uh... Don't take any notice of my husband. He always makes such a fuss. Well, I'm delighted. I really am. Now, look here. I mean, she can't... Well, they can't. I mean, he can't. He... he can. He seems a very suitable young man. Well, when was all this decided? You didn't say anything at breakfast. Never mind that now. Well, go on. Well, Give them your blessing. Huh? Oh, will you, Papa? Oh, 
Yes, well, I suppose he is. Well, just make sure you take very good care of her, that's all. And don't you start saying I told you so. Well, you must admit I was right. I mean, she's grown up perfectly safely. And uh, since this prince has come, he's obviously broken the spell. Mm. And I'm sure he's the bravest prince in all the world. Oh, really? Well, he'd have to be. To ask for your daughter's hand. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Mind you, we don't know what might have happened if I hadn't had all those spinning wheels destroyed, do we? And he knocks. Yes, please. What was the joke I used? I am the king, and I must know the joke. Please tell me. It's amazing how you can take a story as familiar as the sleeping princess and by changing the words and acting it out in a special way turn it into something completely different mm. that gives me an idea pretty kind sir send me a pie that angels might bake with crusts of gold and sauce as red as my true love's lips with pepperoni and extra cheese. Please. by grants from the National Endowment for the Humanities, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, this and other public television stations, the George Gund Foundation, and General Cinema Corporation, and the Neiman Marcus Group, who are proud to help families explore the timeless world of children's stories. Remember, stories from long ago and far away are as near as your local library. <laughs>